Hey man, what's good? What's good? What's yo, good? yo, 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 yo. What up though? What's going on? We bagging this thing? On? We bike. We bike, man. We bike. Who hey. we got? Who we got right here, man? Man, look, man. <laughs> this I, like this your second or third time? It's my third time. Man, hold on, man. I think you like um I don't think anybody been on the show three times. Hey man. Word. He just got put on. He just got put on. He just got put on. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I my third said. time in his three days? Oh shit. Oh, See, man. that was on purpose. <laughs> That was on purpose. Hey, they ain't even real. Hey, man, King J in the building, man. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. How you doing, brother? Man, I'm good, man. I'm blessed, man. I'm blessed, man. That's all I can say, man. I'm, I'm sure. here. Yes, sir. So he he, uh, <coughs> he hit me up it was like couple, about three days ago. We're going to keep going with it. He hit me up about three days ago. And, um, you know, it was like, hey, man, um, just dropped this project, man. I'd love to come up and be able to talk about it. I'm like, come on, let's do it. Easy. Let's do it. Yeah. You know? Uh, that's the beauty of the Good Hennessy Show. If you dope. We want you over here. Exactly. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. It's it, it, simple as that. So, uh, you here, man? Tell us about it, man. Three days. Well, here. basically, <clears throat> I'm gonna get into it, man. After um, we get to that mic. Oh, we get, we good. Man, um, make a long story short. Well, not even make a long story short. I'm gonna tell y'all what it is, man. I was, I was, man, my best friend. It was, man, we had a lot of stuff going on with this music, man. And um, man, he died on Mother's Day, man, in a mm. car, in a one car crash mm. accident, man. And um, man, I just got to myself and just started writing, man. I started writing a couple songs I wrote with him being alive and a couple of them I wrote after he was gone, man. And I just got in the zone, man. I really, like, found myself. I found my sound. I got mm. with some dope producers. K.E. produced three of them. Matt Tastic produced a single. And then um, Static Beats out of the U.K. produced one of them, man. And um, I just got in my zone and just started writing, man. I got to it, man. It's three days for a reason, man. I'm going to tell y'all why it's three days, man. I carried, I'm going to tell y'all why I carried this sign around, too. Basically, you know what I'm saying? Jesus died three days, he came back, man. He was the one, but then nobody believed he was the one. He mm. told them, but they didn't believe it. You know what I'm saying? He, he gave them the light, but they didn't receive it. You know what I'm saying? And y'all can check that out in the record entitled Three Days right. also, man. But I carry this sign around, let people know that I, I ain't scared to put in that footwork. Mm. I done walk, man. I didn't stop smoking. I didn't stop drinking. I be carrying this sign around, man. And I just feel like, yo, it, it, it give me that energy like, yo, I'm here, man. You mm. know what I'm saying? Well, I don't need no validation, man. I'm here because I'm carrying myself on my back. Mm. Man, that's you know dope. what I'm saying? That's dope. For real. It's like, um, and, and, and you know, sorry about the, your friend, man, uh, the loss of your friend, but sometimes <coughs> it, it takes certain things happening in life to kind of wake us up. Nah, you yeah, nah, I mean? for like, real. It, 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 um, it's kind of like rude awakenings. Like, you know what I mean? Like, you, everything, because, all right. If you, if you feel like you're healthy, you're not in, like, serious injuries or anything like that, you kind of start to feel a little bit invincible. Mm -hmm. Like, it just it, it's natural. Like, yeah, you just start yeah. to, like, oh, I'm going to be all right. Like, I'll be here for the next 20, 30 years. And then somebody you're close to, something happened to them, and it's kind of like, man, I didn't see that coming. Right. So now you're starting to, you know, second-guess a whole lot of stuff. You got to kind of approach life a little bit different, man. So I, I definitely understand where you're coming from with that. And, and the signs, though, right? So oh, yeah. it's more than promotion. You know what I'm saying? Oh, it's yeah, it's a real this, story. It's, it's, it's right here, next level, man. I got to shout out Lighthouse Promotions, man. Mm. Mr. Lewis, man, for really just putting me on to this, man. I told a couple of my friends about it, man. Just made literally a couple, and they laughed at me, man. They said, you <laughs> don't do that, and don't nobody do that. What? So I'm just like, man, look, I ain't never need to know extra extra no i'm just gonna do what i do man i feel like it'll work so Shit, i made it work man that's dope that, yeah. that, that's dope that don't nobody do it though yeah exactly yeah. Yeah. you know what i mean everybody ain't supposed to do it exactly man yeah you're right though <laughs> everybody knows <laughs> supposed to do it like you gotta yeah. you gotta stand out and it, what better way to stand out though because i ain't gonna lie you walk the house like man what is in that bag <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. we all looking like hey bro yeah, what's yeah. in that bag now hey hey gonna break, break, break out some xylophones <laughs> in this motherfucker <laughs> <laughs> man, boy, you're a fool. But you say you you stop drinking, man. You stop smoking. What else really um, kind of woke you up in in a sense? Like not not just saying like your friend, but that that whole transition period for you, man. What else have you noticed anything different? Like as far as life is concerned. I mean, basically, like right now, I just. When I tell people like what I want to do and what I want to rap about, man, everybody be like, man, that ain't gonna work, man. You can't rap about that. You gotta, you gotta dumb it down for these folks. I was like, man, ain't like I'm speaking in French. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. How much do I gotta dumb it down? Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? So I was like, at the end of the day, man, I got into music because it was in me. I've been in the band since fourth grade, man. So 
Like I just had to I just had to find me in it. You know what I'm saying? People used to hear me rap and it's like, you know, you weren't really saying that, but I could hear it. It just had to evolve. Evolve, yeah. So now it just feel like, man, I'm still like in the beginning, I feel like because I feel like there's so much I can grow mm-hmm. to become and whatnot. But man, it's this music on this project, man, is it's crazy, man. It's really dope. You really can't just listen to it and be like, all right, this dope. Nah, you gotta really like sit yeah, back and like ride with this thing, man. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Hey, one time for my band. Take people, at least three day, days. Man. Hey, man. One time for my band, folks. Out here, hey, man. hey, I, I hear you, man. Hey. man. I, I forgot what, <coughs> what instrument did you play? I played the sax. I started off on the sax, and I went to the French horn. I got a band scholarship to Kentucky State on the French horn, man. Hey, man, come on, man. Come so, on, man. Yeah. Look, look, people, y'all need to hear this too, right? Now he a rapper. Yeah, we get that, but he, he an artist. He do a whole lot of things. But Kentucky, he had a scholarship to college of playing instrument. Yeah. That's your. That was your way out. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Like, yeah. like call it what it is. Like, I'm, I'm just gonna keep it 100 with y'all. Like, sometimes we gotta do some stuff to get up out of there. And once you nah, get out of there, then you can kind of go and you you can navigate your way. You gotta have a plan. Your plan, like, look, I'm gonna play the play the instrument. Get up out of there. Get up out of there and, and figure out what can I do in the midst of all of that. So, yeah. I, man, come on, man. Saxophone too, man. You still play when the last time you played? Man, my mouth is the instrument now, man. Yeah. I, just, <laughs> I just, I just, I just make it, I make it go. And when I like, sometimes you write music, and even if you write it, you still don't understand it until you sit back and listen to it. So now, when I sit back and listen to my music, I'm like, damn, that cadence is fire. So now I'm getting more into like cadences and mm-hmm. making sure the the beats fit in pocket. All the, the flows fit in pocket, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? Like, I be trying a lot of different stuff. Like, I, I told y'all before, I came up on the mystical to do a dies and the Pastor Troy's oh, yeah. and yeah. folks like that, man. So I'm all into that, man, for real. Yeah, man, you, you got to find yourself, man. And, and it take time, too, truth be told. Like, Not you yet. know, everybody who kind of jump in this game, like, if you go and listen to their first stuff, they sound completely different from how they sound now. And, I mean, I think that's a good thing. You got to evolve with the music. If you still sound the same, 20 years from now it's kind of like what did you do yeah, <laughs> you know what i'm saying yeah. like, what exactly did you do so um outside the music man what else is going on with you man like three days is the project it's out right now y'all going cop that it's everywhere itunes all this man it's on itunes spotify apple music uh amazon our heart radio you can stream it's on youtube it's on i even put it on my soundcloud man you can go in there right, and listen right. to it you know what i'm saying i got hard copies if you really want a hard copy but these these is the classic hard copies man these like, I ain't just bullshit with these. Mr. Lewis said, he sent me the the, the, the um, decoration for these, and I was just like, oh, the design? I'm like, yo, that's yeah. dope. But I didn't expect them to look this good. I ain't gonna lie. They clean. Yeah. Like, they every, clean. every time I get somebody to see that, they be like, hold on. Yeah. They this your CD? Right I be like, yeah. That's good. Yeah, that's a good that's, thing. Yeah, that's, that's a, a good, good thing. Because <laughs> it, it's, not, it's not the typical, you know, text over the CD. Like, this right. is a design. Like, right. you're gonna see this. This feels like what I buy in the store. Yeah. You know what I mean? And that's what you need. You definitely yeah. want that. I'm going to put that back up. There Say presentation is everything, man. Well, say it again. Say it again. Presentation is everything, man. Absolutely. Now, so, yeah, like I was saying, now, what what else going on with you outside the music, though? Man, outside of music, um, just, you know, my everyday, man. I, I just go through I just go through life cycle, man, and just build from that. I go through, you know, I work at the barbershop. Y'all can come see me get a cut at um, VIP Barbershop for right now. I won't be in there long, man. I'm speaking it. I'm just prophesizing myself. I won't be there long. Mm-hmm. But, um. That's it, man. It's just me cutting and me grinding. When I when I leave here, I'm hitting four more clubs. Put this on my back. You know what I'm saying? You can come with me. Promotion. Right now, we do have spots available on the team. I'm, I'm hiring um, an ambassador, a billboard ambassador for $15 an hour. I'm hiring other workers for $10 an hour to come out and work with me. You know what I'm saying? Because I don't want nobody to feel like I'm just using them at the same time. If y'all want to work, my team is open, man. Like, I am independent artists making moves. But you got to be able to work, man. Because hmm. if you ain't working just as hard as me or better... What I need you for? Boy, you dropping them man, my boy here uh, employing people, my thing. Yeah, man, look, real talk. That's dope, for real, man. man. I, and and I, I put it out there. I put it to the fly, man. A few people hit me up, but you know, I'm just saying, like, I'm here. And a few of my friends was like, bro, I don't want no money. Just just give me the backpack. I'll walk with you. Right, man. I walked from Phillips Arena to Sweet Lounge back to Phillips Arena, man. I'm talking. My people was texting me like, my boy said he just saw you on Marietta Street. I'm like, good. Yeah, man, good. <laughs> yeah, I'm out here. Man, like <laughs> that's that's, that's, so that's dope, real. Man. Big Tigger <laughs> rolled past me. I'm like, whoa, what up, boy? So you had these on your back and they lit, like yeah, they lit, man. Oh man, I'm I'm the, I'm the real lit. Yeah. See, they just, <laughs> 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 but you know, man, like what you're saying right now is some stuff that I think artists need to hear. Yeah. Because a lot of times we get to that point where it's kind of we we ain't humble no more. 
Nah, man. You know what I mean? Like the fact that you strap this on your back and walk. Right. And yeah. like I know we, I know Sweet Lounge and, and Phillips. Like that, it ain't no short walk. Nah. Now that that's a nice little hike. You it know what is, I'm saying? It is. And you smart too, because that's where a lot of traffic at. I, I see what you're doing. Like, <laughs> I see what you're doing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a billboard. You know yeah. when you. I don't need to have nothing to pass out. When you pass that billboard on I 75, it don't pass nothing to you. You just see it. Mm -hmm. And as long as you see it, man, it's in your mind. Yep. That's marketing 101, people. That's the whole point of a billboard. Just for you to see it and make you take action later on. It's crazy because, you know, it's Halloween weekend. It's mm -hmm. weekend, right? Everybody's like, yo, that's an iPhone. That's a that's an iPad. I was like, nah, <laughs> actually, it's my new EP. You can go check it out at I, Apple Music, iTunes. And like, oh, word? It's, a, it's a music? Yeah. Let me go. Let me go. Everybody been taking pictures. And I went to the bonfire yesterday. Let me tell you what I did. They got a little machine there mm -hmm. that do like videos and pictures and stuff. Right. I just got behind everybody and just stood there the whole night. <laughs> what? I'm Hold telling you. Up, I took, me excited. What I, you took, me excited? I took. I took. I took. I took. All those videos, put mm -hmm. them together, put my song, my new single, Rocket Rocking, behind it, put it on my page, and it's just like, yo, dope. Come on, man. So what? 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 Man. What pushed you? Henderson, I can't to, talk to, no more, man. Go ahead. What pushed you to this this way of thinking again? Like, I'm man, it's just it's just like, all right, you know what I'm saying? I'm a Pisces, first of all, so we like deep thinkers already. I just try to figure ways, because my boy Chris, man, he taught me a lot about this game. You know what I'm saying? He taught me a lot. Mr. Lewis taught me a lot. So it's like now my mind teaching me how to go around, you know what I'm saying? Because there's always two ways to think. You can take the deep route or you can take the... Right. The, the regular ignorant route, you know what right. I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So I like to take both routes, you know what I'm saying, and combine them and just go create my own lane, you know what I'm saying? So, I mean, when I be thinking, I should be thinking, like, what would, what would attract me? Because I, I, don't, I don't listen to a lot of people's music. I, I be like, it's got to attract me some type of way. Some got to grasp me into it. So it's just like, all right, and put my mind together with other people, brilliant minds. Like, Mr. Lewis, man, look. Yeah. My bad. No, you good. But, man, I'm talking about, when he told me about these things right here, I was just like, I'm down. Mm -hmm. I'm down. You know what I'm saying? I don't really tell too many people about my stuff I got going on, but I told a couple of my people that was close to me. I was just like, yeah, I'm finna put these billboards out. They was laughing at me like, bro, don't do that, bro. You you need to you need to dye your hair. You need to um you need <laughs> no. to go buy you a Rolex and do a publicity stunt. I'm like, nah, that ain't me. I don't make that type of music, right. bro. <laughs> but respect to whatever you do, you know what I'm saying? But that me, I j I keep it real in my music, so I gotta keep it real whatever I do, man. You know. You look at these graphics, they ain't no BS graphics, man. You can see my shoes in that. This is my city behind me. That's Birmingham behind me, man. <laughs> so, yeah. Man, that's dope, man. That's yeah, like, like, I'm, I'm over here looking at the IG, man. Just like, I'm, I'm fascinated, bro. Like, this oh, yeah, crazy. man. I ain't playing, man. It's crazy. You know, the worms in the dirt. You ever you know, play in the dirt and try to catch yeah, the worm yeah, yeah. back in the day? <laughs> worm just be, like, man. obviously a worm can't. Just come straight out mm -hmm. there. Got to work. It got to got to maneuver like that. That's that's. I'm gonna Shit tell you the you. secret though. This is this the secret sauce right here, man. You got to grow your hair, man, because this hair is the only thing that's insane. The whole process. Yeah. I feel like as 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 as, as long as the hair didn't got as as good as I didn't got in the mm -hmm. game. You know what I'm saying? Like it don't matter if you own or not. It's all about your mentality, man. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like on and off, it don't matter. The music speaks for itself, man. When you mm -hmm. hear that music, it's like yo. I don't care who this is. I went to the Music Coalition Mondays. Mm -hmm. I ain't go for no reason. I just went just because I wanted them to know I was here. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Played a couple songs for them, let them rock out, tell me, yo, we fucking with you, bro. That's all I wanted to hear. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Man, y'all, look. <laughs> all right, look. Y'all go to King J Music. That's K I N G J A I Music on Instagram and just look at these pictures, man. Like, this is crazy. Let me pull that up. It's right here. It's so genius, though, because, like you said, like, you taking pictures with people, but at the same time, you got yes, man. That's it's promotion I, right there. It's like King J three days right there in the background, and yeah. that's on everybody. Like everybody who took a picture, they got this. Man, I uh, went, I, I went, I went to the tailgate. I ran into Frank Ski and DJ Jelly, man. Oh yeah, yeah. come on. And yeah. I had Jet ran into Frank Ski the other night, man. So you know him seeing me again, and DJ Jelly. I've been seeing him for a minute. He's been mm -hmm. knowing I've been performing, man. So I gave him one of the CDs. He was like, "That's a that's a damn great idea, bro. That's genius." I was just like, look, hey. <laughs> That's what's up, there, man. I'm all, I'm all about it, man. Just like figuring out ways that that you know, promote promotion is everything, right? Like the music. Everybody making music. It's all about who's gonna stand out. Like, how can you stand out? And the fact that you have this walking billboard, man, it's kind of like it's the easiest way to stand out. Cause I haven't seen it. I haven't seen like 
I probably seen like one person do it maybe like four years ago, but mm-hmm. it wasn't in, it wasn't them walking. It was like somebody else doing other it. With folks. The, huh? Other people walking. Other by. people. But the fact that you got it on, because cause this is what happened if I see it. I said, like, okay, man, this dude walking around this billboard and I'm looking at the billboard. I was like, okay, cool. Who is it? Then I kind of love like, oh, that's him. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Now my mind thinking like, bro, I got to have a conversation with you because like, you don't think to see an artist doing that. Right. Yeah, you think yeah. they're going to have everybody and anybody doing it for them. It's like, no, I'm, I'm doing the footwork myself. Come and have a yeah. conversation with me. Yeah. You know? Yeah. yeah. It's like the fact that you recognize this, this right here and him walking around mm-hmm. with it on himself. It's like the fact that he recognized that he ain't made it yet. Yeah. And I, what you were saying earlier, everybody kind of not humble. Mm-hmm. I already think they made it. So automatically, they ain't even put this work in. Yeah, yeah no. they psyching themselves out. Yeah, for real. The, the, yeah. Ga- the game be teaching these dudes to act like they already made it, man. To fake it till you make it. Mm-hmm. It's it's nothing wrong with looking good. You can look good, but you ain't got to fake who you are. Mm-hmm. Man, it's so many different reasons why I, I, I named this. I am. I mean, it stands for independent artists making moves, but it's, just, it's a powerful statement in saying I am. I am powerful. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? I am who I am. You know what I'm saying? I, I do have a message, man. So, you know, I am. The greater I am. You know, it's in the Bible. Yeah. That's, you You speaking some truth, man, because it, it's, it's one of those things where, like, I, I'm, I'm always stuck on humble. You know what I mean? Like, humble is, I'll, I'll put it like this, and this is me speaking personally. Being humble will, will get a lot of doors slammed in your face. Yeah. It's going to get a lot of doors slammed. Because a lot of times people just, they're not going to they not gonna rock with it. A lot of times people want you to kind of stand up and, and like this, this, and that. But what I found for me is like when I'm humble, it leaves some type of door open to where like you can never say anything wrong about me. Because like I treat everybody equally. Right. I know I'm nowhere near where I want to be. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But even when people come up to me like, yo, man, you did this, you did that. And I'm like, you know, I, I downplay it because in my eyes, I'm like, yo, bro, like, I'm still grinding. Like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's the same thing. It's, it's you with the, the, the billboard on your back. Like, I'm still grinding. I'm not. It got to get to the point where I don't need to do this. Until that happens, I'm going to do it. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, so I, I respect it, man, 100%. I definitely respect man, it. I, I got to, um, I, see, I, see, I see my guy, Mr. Lewis, right, right now. Man. Hey, hey, shout out to Mr. Lewis. One, th- sure. one thing he always tell me, and I, I did want to touch on this because he just said it, it's, it's not just the billboards, man. It's not just everything. It's it's the thought behind it. It's putting it mm-hmm. together, and that's where he come in. And right. man, he's a great like strategizer, he's a great thinker, man, because he put it together. Like, man, the dude doing the graphics and from, from everything, everything is gels together perfectly you know mm-hmm. what i'm saying anybody can go out here and buy a billboard but is it going to be put together the right way absolutely is, is the, the pictures gonna look good is the cd gonna match the pic? you know it's just different mm-hmm. stuff i ain't gonna give out too much stuff because i don't you know I don't yeah know. Hey, tell, hey some stuff you gotta pay told. for man you yeah, gotta yeah, pay right. for some stuff i yeah, feel yeah, like look shout out yeah definitely man. mr lord yeah 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 older cat yeah yeah i i you know, Mr. Man, he said Mr. Yeah, yeah, yeah Mr. Yeah, Lewis. Yeah, yeah. Shout out to Mr. Lewis, though. Show, man. But you need people like that, For though, sure. that's willing to, to see something in you and invest. Right. You know what I mean? And just tell you, like, hey, I like what you're doing, but you can do this a little bit better. Right. Try this out. Yeah. Like, let, let's see how this works. You right. know what I mean? Like, you need people in your corner like that. Yeah. You definitely need people in your corner like that. So, definitely, man. I'm sitting on about. I re- I was I was at first I was gonna release a project called Barbecue and Mildew with like 12, 15 records. I was mm-hmm. just like, but you know, he told me he's like, man, you give him a little bit, you give him a little bit, mm-hmm. let him bite off that first. You know yeah. what I'm saying? I'm sitting I'm sitting on a lot of records, man. A lot of records, a lot of records, and I've been writing too. I hear you, man. man Birmingham. I, I want to meet this Mr. 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 Lewis, man. Mr. We, we might have to come here. Hey, 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 Mr. Lewis said, he said, I ain't old. Uh, we calling me. <laughs> <laughs> I, said, oh, I said older. Older, you know older. I'm, you know what I'm saying? So I'm thinking you like 25, 26. You know what I'm saying, Mr. Lewis? <laughs> 20, 20, 20. 20, 20. Okay, I got you. <laughs> yeah, for sure, for sure. Yeah. So, That's man, um, with this whole rollout for three days, man, like you said, you it's been a couple of weeks now. Have you seen the, the traction? Have you seen like the the fruit of um, like your labor is starting to, to take? Man, I ain't even took the time to look at it yet. Man, I'm just working right now. I'm head mm. down. Man. I just dropped it, man. I'm, I'm, I'll see the fruits later, man. Yeah, it's I'm, still, I'm still building the tree right now. Yeah, yeah, and the roots, man. But I mean, the first night I the first night I put this on, seven people went and bought the EP right there and then. Mm. I gotta buy it cause you doing this. Mm. I ain't never seen nothing like this. I gotta go buy it. Where can I hear it? 
how can I mess with your movement? Mm. You know what I'm saying? One, one, one artist on Edgewood, I did Edgewood one night. And he's like, bro, where you get that from? I was like, bro, I ain't even to tell you. I can't tell you, bro. Yeah. He's like, we gonna blow anyway. I was just like, bro, it's not even no disrespect. I support your music. Like, let me, what's your Instagram, bro? Like, yeah. let's link. You know what I'm saying? But, you know, like, it is what it is, man. Ain't nobody give me the, the key. Yeah. Man, it's years put in work, man. You know what I'm saying? I had to learn. It's, I had to maneuver myself, man. Mm. You know what I'm saying? So, hey, it is what it is. <laughs> We're going to blow anyway. Yeah, we're going to blow anyway. Do your thing, bro. Oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> no, nah, I feel you, man. That's, um, you, you got to put in the work. Yeah. You got to put in the work. There, there's, um, uh, there's this, this thing called delayed gratification that, um, it's, it's hard to, to grasp that concept, right? Like mm-hmm. we, we just live in a world where we want it now. Like we got an idea and we want it to pop now. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. Sometimes it just take time, man. Nah, it it take a little time yeah. sometimes. And, and I don't know about you. You are uh, Hennessy, but if I would have got on when I wanted to be on, I would have messed it up. Yeah. yeah. Like, for real. I would have messed it up. At the time when I thought, like, everything was – I go back and listen to some of that music. I was like, this stuff ain't that good. Mm-hmm. I go back and look at my mentality. My mentality went right. I probably would have just been – I would have figured it out, mm-hmm. but it would have been wrong. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like, so – I get it. It, it takes a little time. It take right. a little time. It definitely does, man. Yeah, we we definitely we learning these at, at, the, at the cheapest rate. Mm. You know Break that down. Break that down. <clears throat> Meaning, just say you would have got on. Mm-hmm. Bam, cut. I don't know me and all the publishing deal or something. Yeah, fuck that up. Yeah, that would have really fucked you up. Yeah. Well, I say we learn at cheapest rate. We only thing we really losing is time. Time. Yeah. You're right. You know what I'm saying? Oh, right. that shit will fire. Motherfucker. <laughs> that shit will fire. Dog. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Definitely. Yeah, yeah. Definitely, real, definitely. So, man, what what is, um, what else going on, man? Like, what else you want to leave the people with? Because three days, man, like, I, I think with just the, the genius of your marketing campaign, number one, if y'all don't take anything else from this interview, it's just that alone. Like, yeah. you don't drop some gems on y'all. But what else can you give the people that, that you're willing to give the people? Um, it takes time, man. You know, a lot of artists come to my shop and, bro, I got a hit, I got a hit. And I be like, bro, you do not have a hit. Mm. Is it mixed? Well, nah, 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 nah. It's not a hit. I used to think all my music was hits, man. But I was just like, it wasn't until, once again, I got with Mr. Lewis that I took my music to the next level. Everything's tracked out, mixed and mastered by the professionals. I even got a remix with, um, with a guy named Ruff Lee. Played the guitar in the remix of three days, and oh my goodness, when you listen to that thing, well, mm. I'm it's, gonna, it's that right now, bro. It's sick. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. So I mean, take your time to learn yourself before you just jump out on the scene, man. Take your time to learn yourself. Confidence, consistency, and energy gonna always win. Confidence, consistency, and energy. And energy. Always going to win. CCE. It's not a person. Let me say this. It's not a person in, in Georgia in the music game, I feel, that can have a better stage show than me. I ain't got the budget to have the big fire and all that mm-hmm. shit, but just period, just raw. There ain't a better person that got a stage presence than me, man. I consider myself the hardest working rapper in the game, the one with the legendary flow. You know what I'm saying? It's going to take time for people to get to know that, but you know what I'm saying? Once you listen to it and you, you break me down, like you can't put me in this in the category with these... With the, with the new artist, man, you know what I'm saying? I just, I'm in the lane of my own, man, and I know that. Mm-hmm. You ain't mumbling either. Say that again? <laughs> they ain't mumbling. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. nah, you're going to hear what I got to say, man. For sure, for sure, man. Yeah. Well, before we get out of here, man, um, social media, how people can contact you. Um, if they want to pay for your services, what's the best way that they can contact you? Um, basically, you know what I'm saying? My, all my social media is King J-A-I Music. YouTube, King J. Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, all that King J Music. If you want my services, hit up Mr. Lewis. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all can hit Mr. Lewis up at um uh what's the email again? Mr. Lewis, shoot me the email right quick. Shoot me the email right quick, Mr. Lewis. We'll we'll wait on him. As soon as he shoot the email, I'm, I'm gonna let y'all know where y'all can get the all the all the features and I ain't you know, I'm really focused on me right now. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like I ain't really trying to just branch out right now, but I'm just I'm getting me together. Mm-hmm. And, um, yeah, I hit Mr. How, how important is that for you to get yourself together? You Man, know? It, it's the number one thing. I think people, like my first project when I brought to y'all the Undivided Attention, I went about it the wrong way. 
I got a lot of features from a lot of artists that was like coming up from like from like Clay James to Sire, to Snooty, Zip mm -hmm. K, uh, man, it's just a lot of people, man. And basically, um, nobody really pushed it like I did. You know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? A few of them did. I was don't get me wrong. My boy Clay James, like he, every time I retweeted something, I tweeted something, he retweeted it. Mm -hmm. That's why I got utmost respect for my guy. But at the same time. You got to find yourself first, man. Mm. You got to know who you are before you just go out here and say, let's work, let's work. That's why it took me three years to get a feature from Zip Kennedy, man. And now I know why. Because when you just come up to me and be like, let's work, I'm like, bro, I've never seen you on the scene. <laughs> I've never seen you out here putting in no work. Why would yeah. I just work with you? And I've been yeah. putting in these years. Mm -hmm. Find yourself first, then come back and holler at me. You, the, when the time right, you're going to know it. You ain't got to question it. Mm. So... Yeah, man, I'm just I'm so, just out here just working, man. And the, oh yeah, the email oh, if y'all yeah, want to work is forty twelve management at gmail dot com. Once again, that is forty twelve management at gmail dot com. Hit them up. Let's handle the business correctly, mm -hmm. and then let's work, man. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Like because that's what we go. Matter of fact, I said Outliers Music Group. He, the other one, Mr. Lewis, wrote, is Outliers O U T L I E R S Music Group at gmail dot com. O U T L I E R S music group at gmail.com. Hit them up. Let's work. Let's get it in. I'm killing your song. It don't matter. I'm turning your song to my song. <laughs> you did, man. Hey, I'm out here, man. I'm out here every night. Two jobs. I don't get tired. Well, I do get tired sometimes, but I still go. My my my, my motto my motto no more, my motto go. still I was just gonna say that my <laughs> motto still is we don't turn up no more we don't we go, don't go you I know still remember that the first time I heard that man we were at uh it was at A three C a show at A three C at Unclay yeah I remember and, uh, the B O B show yeah B O B show yeah. and, and you performed I, I still remember that night still remember that night Unclay was gone now but um, it is they, they knocked that down but I do remember that night <laughs> and, and, and and I don't I'm not I'm not saying I started it but I started it on mistake. Cause I was at a show and I was just like, damn, what can I say? Well, we don't turn up no more. We don't go. Ever since I said that, I hear it in everybody music. Mm. On go. I, I hear I it remember everybody music, I, man. The first time I heard it was from you. Yeah. I can yeah. I can vouch for that, and that was probably about two or three years ago. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that, that's the first time I heard it. So yeah, man. Shout out to you, man. Um, I did want to ask one thing though before we go. Okay. Um, you mentioned about features, right? Yeah. In your opinion. Do you think, as an artist, independent artist, do you think you should approach people for features or wait till they reach out to you about getting a feature? Um, I think you will know when the vibe is right, man. You got to kind of work with somebody on your level a little bit because at the same time, you don't want to embarrass yourself. But sometimes, I mean, like I got a lot of people that be like, yo, let's work, let's work. But you don't want to, like, bro, I'm telling you right now, I'm a beast. I'm going to kill this shit. Do you sure you want to do a song right now because it's going to make you look bad? But at the same time, you got to know where your levels are. Mm. It's, when Meek Mill said it's levels to this shit, it's really levels to it. Not saying the money, the cars, clothes, and all that, but mm. it's really it's mental levels to it. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Like, everybody not going to appreciate it. And the only reason I say, like, you got we got to handle the business first with these features because I done did features with people and they haven't pushed the record. Mm. They either sitting on the record waiting for me to blow or something like that. And I'm <laughs> like, nah, that don't, that's not how it works. So I just want you to appreciate it. And shit, even for me getting stuff in life, when I got it for free, I really didn't appreciate it. Right. Mm. So it's just like, when you put a little money and you invest in it, you're going to appreciate it. You're going to gonna appreciate this verse. Right. Because I don't give you no food gauge and stuff, man. I don't yeah. give you no fake stuff. It's all real, man. That's what's up, man. I like that talk right yeah. there. Yeah. I like that talk right there. Can't Shout out Rough Lee just joined <laughs> in. That's my guitarist, man. Guitarist. But oh, yeah, man, that boy is crazy on the. Boy, What's his name? <laughs> Ruff, name? Ruff Lee, man. Ruff, Ruff Lee, man. Shout he crazy. Lee, man. Man. I'm telling you, when y'all check that three days out, that remix, he went in, man. Yeah. We got here. So do you got you got a video? You it's, it's on YouTube, man. I got all of it on YouTube. He can put it up on YouTube, man. Oh, Rocker. Uh, Rockin' Rockin' is the single. Okay. Matter of fact, I'd rather play the single, and y'all could just check that three days out you when y'all get a chance. That Rockin' that. Rockin' is, is what I feel is that new anthem for Atlanta, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's the new anthem for the South, man. My city been waiting on me. Mm. For sure. <laughs> so, I'll tell you what. Introduce your video. I mean, uh, the, the single rocking right now, man. We'll go up. Yo, right yo, now. yo, yo. What up? What up? It's your boy King J, as y'all already know, man. This is my new single, Rockin' Rockin', produced by Matt Tastic, man. Look, let go. <laughs> 